Moving to the second stream, organization and culture. This is where the Security Champions program surfaces in SAM. Now, good in this stream means that you have the Security Champions program and you have Security Champions for each development team. By the way, you don't have to call them Security Champions. It could be something else, it could be ninjas or whatever you decide to call them. And then the focus is on communication. You need to make sure that these security champions are sharing the best practices and lessons learned with their team. First question is, have you identified a security champion who is going to support each development team? Like I said, you don't have to call them security champions, but you have identified the person who is going to play that role and they have been given responsibility within a team. They are getting support from the information security team. And the security champions are sort of a liaison between the information security team in the organization and their development team. So first of all, there needs to be appropriate training to the security champions. Furthermore, the security champions are expected to periodically brief their team on security initiatives within the organization. And finally, the champions also review the results of external security testing before adding them to the application backlog. At level two, have you started to create a resource center? This goes back to communication, sharing and getting best practices across the whole organization. Once you have put that center of excellence in place, whatever you choose to call them, by the way, it is a real organization, it has a real support and buying from the management and they are the go-to place for consulting on architecture around security, managing standards and helping to communicate them out to the organization. And for each of your security related tool, you've got at least one identified resident champion, the person you can turn to explain a certain finding and certain result. In the language of PSIM, this is what you call the software security group. This group is the resource that everyone can turn to. It should be clear for everyone that this exists with even opening hours perhaps. It is part of their explicit charter to devote time to this activity. At level three, you not only have an identified group, but there is also an online catalog for this. A resource, site or portal that can take people to find policies, best practices, reference architectures, updates, incidents, changes, whatever not. So this ends up being an organizational task. You've got stuff all over the place, but have you really pulled it that one-stop location where people can go and they can find things with a couple of clicks? Now, everyone should know about this portal and they should recognize this portal. It should not be just an effort that you're going to do to get to level three in SAM. And like I said, all this, all this content should be persistent and searchable. So you can also easily find what happened uh, a couple of years ago and why a certain architectural change was uh, added. And this Portal should also host application security metrics for everyone. Note that just having a shared drive isn't quite there. There has to be a bit more UI friendliness in that resource and all of these use cases, well, all of these quality criteria need to be supported by that portal. <laughs> 